Tulsi Gabbard, being the subject of Hillary Clinton's smears before, was asked about Hillary Clinton's attack on Bernie Sanders, and her response was basically perfect because she describes this as exactly what it is. This is basically high school drama being perpetuated by someone who we're all supposed to respect, who is, you know, one of the ideological leaders of the Democratic Party. But um, here's what she said about it. This is just, this is great. Look, it's time to grow up. You know, this isn't high school. Uh, we're talking about real challenges that our country needs to address and the need for real leadership to focus on them not on what's going on in Washington and the schoolyard clicks or whatever else it may be. There are real issues that people are struggling with and they're wondering why are our leaders not working for us? This is why I'm running for president to change that because Washington is so disconnected from the reality of, of what people are dealing with every day. There, there are people dying because of this opioid epidemic every day. This is what our leaders should be focusing on among many other issues. That was absolutely amazing. And that's like the way that you should respond to Hillary Clinton. Like the petulant child that she is. It's time to grow up. This isn't high school. Nobody cares about your cliques in Washington, D.C. And that Bernie Sanders wasn't part of the club. Nobody gives a damn about that. What we care about and the reason why you're in D.C. is not to make friends with the other politicians. It is to codify policies into law and um, help the American people. But I mean, it just goes to show you that all of these politicians are so self-serving and they don't care about the American people. So look, I've had my criticisms of Tulsi Gabbard and I still have very, very strong policy and uh, you know strategy and even ideological disagreements with Tulsi Gabbard, but I believe in giving credit where it's due. This is great. And lately she's kind of been on a roll after going down in my book, you know, based on policy decisions that she's made and, you know, appearing on Breitbart and whatnot. She's slowly but surely rising again, in my view. Um, and this comes after she uh, basically came out in favor of legalizing all drugs, which is something that I am totally on board with. So as Tom Angel of Forbes reports, Representative Tulsi Gabbard is calling for the U.S. to legalize currently illicit drugs. Quote, if we take that step to legalize and regulate, then we're no longer treating people who are struggling with substance addiction and abuse as criminals and instead getting them the help that they need. The 2020 presidential candidate said at a campaign stop in Merrimack, New Hampshire on Friday. She was responding to a voter who asked whether her plan to end the war on drugs centered on more harm reduction and treatment or if it involved moving to legalize and regulate narcotics so that you're no longer seeing tainted drugs on the street and involvement in the black market. The congresswoman replied that her answer was all of the above. Quote, the costs and the consequence to this failed war on drugs is so vast and far reaching socially and fiscally that if we take these necessary steps, we'll be able to solve a lot of other problems that we're dealing with in this country, she said. So I think that this matters. Like, she's not my candidate. Um, I have Bernie Sanders as my number one, two, three, four, and so on. But I think that, you know, making these types of of um, policy decisions, choosing to advocate for things like this, it does shift the Overton window to the left, which is what I really want to see happen. It's why at the beginning of this primary, I donated to Tulsi Gabbard. I donated to Andrew Yang. I donated to Elizabeth Warren. Like I donated to all of the progressives because I wanted to make sure that we had the furthest left conversation, you know, in this primary as we possibly can, uh, could have had. And now, you know, it's clear that uh, <laughs> centrists once again have dominated the conversation in spite of that effort. Um, so look, credit where it's due to Tulsi Gabbard. Um, she hasn't fully won me back yet, but she gets a high five for, as of late, making decisions that I actually applaud her for. Defending Bernie Sanders, I think that even though ideologically her and Bernie Sanders are a lot different than I initially thought, I think that for him to come out and defend her against Hillary Clinton and for her to do, do the same, there is, you know, th there are benefits in having a political alliance, if anything else, right? Just because they're both anti-establishment, um, as is Andrew Yang, and even though there are really substantive policy disagreements that are deal breakers for me, I think that forming this type of political alliance with individuals who, you know, are also against the establishment, I think that it can be worthwhile in the long run. So, um, yeah, good job, Tulsi.